when we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 square, we can take the 2 and then put it here, put it here, and put it here. But we will have to change the 2 to a 3. So we have 1 to the 3rd power plus 2 to the 3rd power plus 3 to the 3rd power. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Oh, you don't trust me? Well, let's check this out. This is 1, this is 8, this is 27. When we add them up, we will get 36. And if we worked out the inside, which is 6, and then square that, we will also get 36. So yeah, we do have the same answer, but why though? Why does this work? In fact, I'm using a very nice identity. Then let me just put this down right here for you guys. It's the sum of the first n cubes. Namely, if we have 1 to the 3rd power plus 2 to the 3rd power plus dot 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 up to some number n, past the whole numbers, hopefully. If it's 0, then it's obvious. So yeah, n to the 3rd power like this. This right here is in fact equal to if we do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and up to n. Where we, we do this first and then we square that. Notice earlier, I pretty much just used this formula but backwards. That's why I can distribute the 2 to the power, but then I change the 2 to a 3. That's exactly why I did it. Yeah. And then, just like the icing on the cake, in fact, when we have 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 up to n, we have a very nice formula for the inside as well. This right here is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So we can write this as this thing and square. Very nice, huh? So let's see how we can prove that. Well, one easy way to do it is that if we have 1 plus 2 plus da 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 plus n, if we call this to be s, right, just so for some. Well, I'm going to reverse the order. I'm just saying we have n plus the next number is just like, you know, n minus 1, and then so on, so on, so on. And then the last number right here will be 1. Just reverse this. This is also equal to s. Now I'm going to add them up. Here, we'll just get n plus 1. 2 plus n minus 1 is also n plus 1. So as you can see, we have a lot of the n plus 1, including the last number right here as well. And when we add all of them, we will end up with 2s. But how many n plus 1 do we have? The answer to that is a total of n of them. So the left hand side is equal to n times n plus 1. And we see that the right hand side is equal to 2s. So this is not 25, it's 2s. Of course, we can just divide the 2 on both sides and we'll just get s, which is equal to 1 plus 2 plus da 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 up to n. This right here is just equal to this, which is n times n plus 1 and then divided by this 2. Hmm? That's what we said earlier. So that's done. But now we should also talk about how we can prove from here to here, right? Okay, so this is our claim. We'll show that this formula is true for n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And we'll be using the mathematical induction. And let's go ahead and write it down to make it more clear. And to use the mathematical induction, we have two major things to do. The first thing is the so-called base case. And because the way I wrote down the formula, we say that this is true for n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, we want to check if the formula is true for the first n value that we have. So that is, we have to check if n equals 0 will satisfy this formula. So let's go ahead and plug in. We will get 0 to the third power on the left hand side. Is that equal to, put a 0 in here, and then we have 0 plus 1 over 2 square. Is this true? Congratulations, it is true, because 0 is indeed equal to 0. So yeah, base case checked. Next, we are going to do the so-called inductive hypothesis. And this right here requires the most amount of work. What we are going to do first is that we will assume this formula is true for some number m. So let's go ahead and just write this down. And this is just the assumption that we are making right now, and hopefully this right here can help us for the next part. The next part means that we'll take this assumption 
and we will check what happens when we have 1 to the third power plus 2 to the third power plus da 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 m to the third power here but we want to move forward one step so we will add m plus 1 to the third power like this meaning that based on this is it okay for us to end up with m plus 1 here m plus 1 here in the formula if so then we are done okay so let's see we have this right here but guess what these numbers together thanks to the inductive hypothesis we can legitimately say that this is equal to m times m plus 1 over 2 and then square thanks to the inductive hypothesis and then we just have this part right so we add m plus 1 to the third power cool and now i'm not going to multiply everything but rather i'm just going to fix the power here so we have m square times m plus 1 square over 2 square which is 4 and then right here let's just go ahead and get a common denominator so we have the 4 m plus 1 to the third power over 4 like this when we can combine them on the top they both have m plus 1 square so we can factor that out so we will get m plus 1 square and then we will have m square here plus 4 and then one more m plus 1 in a parentheses and then all divided by 4 whoa this is actually really good because what we have is this m plus 1 square this part is what just m square plus 4m plus 4 we can factor it and when we do that we get m plus 2 square on the bottom we have 4 now we want to write this expression in this form and hopefully this m is like m plus 1 so let's go ahead and do this put a big parenthesis square because everybody has a square on the bottom we can put it as 2 this right here is m plus 1 that's excellent but then for the m plus 2 i'm going to purposely write this as m plus 1 and then plus 1. Ta -da! this is exactly in this form and then we have m plus 1. again once we have this assumption meaning that assuming this formula is true for m we have shown that it's also true for m plus 1. therefore we are done we can just draw a box and shade in Hopefully you enjoyed the video so far, and before we get to the bonus part, I would like to tell you about our sponsor today, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries, and we all come together to find inspirations and take the next step in our creative journeys. I have been a member of Skillshare for a while now, and I really like their YouTube-related classes. One class that I finished a while ago that has really benefited me a lot is called the Create Irresistible YouTube Thumbnails with Canva by Ronnie Hermosa. One thing I learned and I have been implementing in my videos is to give my emotions in my thumbnails and I found the result to be phenomenal. Overall, his class is very organized and I really like his ideas and techniques. On Skillshare, you can learn anything that interests you and they have new premium classes launching each week. And that's why I'm recommending it to you and the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the video. Okay, let's take a look right here. If we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 and then square, unfortunately, this is not in the form of 1 plus 2 plus da 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 up to n square. So we cannot do what we did, right? No. In fact, we can put a 2 and just make that 2 to be a 3. This is equal to 81 and this is also equal to 81. Super cool, right? Okay, I know. This right here, in fact, is just a pure coincidence. But it's so cool though. But we can make this into a very nice math question. Is it possible for us to find, let's say, x, y, z? And of course, to make them interesting, let's say, all positive. So that... If we have x plus y plus z to the second power, this right here somehow ends up to be x to the third power plus y to the third power plus z to the third power. Go ahead and try this. If you have any other combinations, leave a comment down below. Let us know.